Hello, welcome back to R.L. Christman Metalworks. You've seen this lathe in several other videos. It's all together and operating now. What you haven't seen is my RF31 mill drill. I managed to get it put together in the last few days. In this video, you can see I purchased the optional stand for it. You can also see the optional clamping kit that I've got down there that I purchased with it. The little vise on the left here, this little angle vise, is the one that came with the mill drill. The one on the right is an optional precision vise that I purchased when I bought this equipment. Between the two of them, I should be pretty well set up for vices, at least for right now. You can see the drill chuck is installed in the spindle right now. I also have uh, optional collet set and end mills to go with this. This came pre-wired for 110 volt 60 cycle. I rewired it in the motor right over here inside that little box with the yellow tag on it. I rewired it for 220 60 cycle. And when I did that, then I had to change the plug on the end of the cord and put a 220 plug on there instead of the 110 plug that it came with. The lathe came pre wired for 220, so all I had to do was put the plug on the end of the cord because it came without a plug. You can see that is a 220 plug there. Anyway, I have my lathe set up. I have my mill drill set up. I'm still doing some of the alignments on it, checking everything. Uh, in the next video, I plan on going into some of the optional equipment that I purchased a little bit farther. Uh, for this RF31 mill drill, I did purchase the uh, optional power feed for the x-axis. In the next video, I plan on uh, installing that, getting that operated, and then uh, somewhere here down the line, I purchased DROs for both of these machines, and uh, I will be installing those going through that process. When you buy this equipment, you can have, if you buy a DRO at the time that you buy it, the DRO will be installed for you free of charge. Uh, in my case, I asked them not to install them because I wanted to do it myself so that I could do some videos on it. Just in case anyone has this equipment and later on down the road decides to purchase DROs for them, I just wanted to do some videos to show how to install them, get them set up and working. So, those are upcoming videos. That's all for now. Thanks for joining me here at RL Chrisman Metalworks. Happy machining.